Hi, I am Parapi. In this video, you can learn how to create mesh for cylinder flow in OpenFoam using the utility Snappy Hex Mesh. The advantage of this method is that you can create a mesh of any shape you desire. If you create a geometry you want to simulate with uh, CAD etc and load it with Snappy Hex Mesh, you can create a mesh of geometry uh, of the geometry shape. The goal of this video is the mesh shown on display. Boundary layer mesh is cut too. The coordinate system is as shown. The origin is uh, the intersection of the central axis of the cylinder and the XY plane. And the cylinder is placed on that intersection. I'll explain this in detail later. Snappy hex mesh is roughly divided in three steps. From left to right, uh, castellated mesh, snap, and add layer step. After castellated mesh finished, the mesh removed outside the computational domain is created. When snap ends, the points of cylinder surface are adjusted. And after add layer ends, the boundary layer mesh is inserted. When castellated mesh is finished, the boundary surface of the cylinder is a block shape. To create a beautiful cylinder surface, you need to execute the snap step after the castellated mesh. Finally, you need to insert the boundary layer mesh with add layer. This is the snappy hex mesh. In order to execute, you need to prepare a hexahedral background mesh and a geometry file. The size of the geometry file must be small so that it fits inside the background mesh. There are three main operating procedures. Create a background mesh with block mesh. Next, create a cylinder CAD file. And finally, run snappy hex mesh to create a mesh for cylinder flow. Now, let's start the work. In this video, the working directory is named cylinder demo. The directory tree before work is like this. We will start working in this directory. The easiest way to get an initial directory structure is to copy and paste from tutorials. First, edit the block mesh dict to create the background mesh. Set convert to meters to 1 for simplicity. Next, set vertices like the coordinates displayed. I think you can understand this right away. For the following blocks, this is OK, as we only need one block to create the background mesh. The number of mesh division should be like this. The mesh near the cylinder will be fixed by executing snappy hex mesh, but the mesh away from the cylinder will have the resolution set here. It is necessary to set the step size while keeping this in mind. Edges are not used in this shape. For boundary, we want to create a hexahedral mesh, so we define six patches. The name is XYZ uh, minimum and maximum. You can name it anything you like. In this calculation, X minimum is defined as the inlet boundary. Uh, and the axis and the axis of the cylinder is placed 8 cm downstream from it. The vertices set by vertices are the coordinates in anticipation of this setting. Then editing is finished. So let's execute the block mesh. I made a mistake. If you make a mistake in the execution location, you will get this kind of error.
OK, the mesh has been created. You have now created a background mesh. The created mesh is stored in PolyMesh of constant. Next, create a Slinda Geometry file. I always create it on Windows using the free software free cut. OK, I made it. The diameter was 4 cm. The height is uh, 10 cm. Here are some points to note when creating with free cut. Uh, it is a specification that the dimension of geometry is multiplied by 1000 when exported in STL format. I don't know the reason. Therefore, when creating the geometry, the diameter should be uh, 0.04 mm. That is, the radius should be uh, 20 micrometers and the height should be 0.1 mm. In addition, you may have to, have to be careful about the coordinates that create the cylinder. According to the Snappy Hex Mesh Snappy uh, specification, the geometry file is embedded in the background mesh so that the coordinate system of the background mesh and the geometry file, that is, the coordinate system of these files matches. Earlier, I explained that I wanted to place uh, a cylinder at the position defined uh, as the origin in the background mesh. So in FreeCAD, the axis of the cylinder must pass through the origin and be orthogonal to the XY plane. And the bottom of the cylinder must lie on the XY plane. Now output this data in the format cylinder.stl. Put it in cylinder uh, constant tri surface mesh. The directory tree after putting it is here. Okay then let's edit the settings of snappy hex mesh. There is a file snappy hex mesh dict. Opening this, many variables are defined in this file. The commentary section was deleted in advance because it is difficult to see when watching the video. The first three variables, castrated mesh, snap, and other layers, are Boolean variables, and that determine whether to perform each operation. This time I'm going to execute all of them, so set them to true. Next, what's the geometry dictionary? Specify the geometry file you want to embed here. Write one nested sub-dictionary for each file you want to embed. The name cylinder is written before the sub-dictionary. After the castrated mesh is completed, the surface of the cylinder is newly added as a boundary to the original background mesh. Cylinder is the name of the surface. You'll use this name when setting the boundary conditions. You can name it anything you like. In the sub-dictionary, specify the type and the file name to embed. The type should be tri-surface mesh. For the file name, write the file name you created earlier. Next are settings of the castrated mesh controls dictionary. I don't know all the parameters, so I will briefly explain only the parameters adjusted when making the cylinder. First, location in mesh is an important parameter. Use this parameter to specify one point, which is the coordinate of the area where you want to create a mesh. You can choose anywhere if the point is in the area. In the case of this condition, it means to specify somewhere inside the background mesh and outside the cylinder. Then the mesh of the area is made. If you specify the inside of the cylinder, the mesh inside the cylinder will be created and the outside will be removed. I will delete features uh, because I will not use features in this uh, this time. Next is the refinement surface dictionary. Earlier, I explained that when the castrated mesh process is completed, 
a new patch called cylinder is generated, a dictionary that specifies the resolution of the patch. Two numbers are uh, written in parentheses. The first is the minimum resolution and the second is the maximum resolution. I usually set both to 2. The explanation of the castellated mesh control is finished above. Next, Snap Controls is a dictionary that makes settings for Snap processing. But I haven't never edited. Maybe it is used when making a complicated mesh. I will post a video if I use it. Finally, the Add Layer Controls dictionary is a setting item when creating a boundary layer mesh. The first, relative sizes, is a parameter that determines whether the size of the boundary layer mesh is relative to the background mesh or absolute. Basically, it is recommended to make a smooth stretched mesh when making a mesh. So set it to true this time so that the mesh size changes smoothly. The layers dictionary specifies the name of the patch to insert the boundary layer mesh into and uh, the number of layers. Here was the most difficult to understand for me. Uh, it seems that it is necessary to specify cylinder plus wild card like this when a patch called cylinder is newly generated. It turned out after various trials. <laughs> Without this setting, meshes might not be generated in some areas. I think that patches with uh, multiple names are generated in the internal process of snappy hex mesh. I don't know where. If anyone knows the detailed specifications, please comment. The expansion ratio is a growth rate of uh, and the mesh width. If it is 1.2, the width will be multiplied by 1.2 each time it goes to the outer layer. Considering that a smooth mesh is recommended, I think it is better to set it from 1.1 to 1.2. Of course 1.0 is ok. I explained all the parameters I did when creating the mesh around the cylinder above. I haven't touched the rest of the dictionary that runs snappy hex mesh. It will take about 30 seconds. After creation, uh, directories of numbers will be created, and just like in a fluid simulation. The directories named 1, 2, and 3 have been created. The mesh after castrated mesh process in 1, mesh after snap in 2, and the mesh after all is stored in 3. The poly mesh stored in 3 is the mesh body of the cylinder flow. Copying the polymesh directory and pasting it to the constant of any job you like. You can simulate the cylinder flow. Of course, initial conditions and boundary conditions must be set. With the above, a mesh for cylinder flow was created. The amount of work is small. However, in the case of complicated shapes, and there will be more parameters that need to be edited. That's all of this video. I'd like to thank you for watching this video. If you like, please subscribe to the channel. See you next time.